Now, over the last few years, I've had a fair amount of success in this industry, just a little bit, since getting started. And I've observed a few things after having worked with about, I think we're up to about 100,000 customers or something like that. And I've observed a few things, so a few trends, you may say. I was at first really excited to share lots of tactical knowledge, tactics, techniques, everyone. I wanted everyone in the world to know how to do what I did. So I, I went out there and I did that. I shared it. I shared it all. And I observed that in sharing that, what is to me an unacceptable amount of people were not fulfilling on them. We're not taking action. We're not actually getting out there and utilizing the tactical and technical knowledge. There was something missing. There was something missing from the equation that really made the tactics, the techniques, utilizable. And what I discovered that was missing was power. Power is the precursor to tactical and technical success. If you don't have power, then you cannot utilize tactical and technical success. And this weekend, we are going to break down what it means to be powerful. And we're going to create power, lots of power, because we need to. It's the one thing that's really missing from the equation when it comes to manifesting and creating for most people. That's the truth. And there's a story, there's a little bit of a story that demonstrates this. You see, there was this apprentice, and he was a hungry, hungry apprentice. He had pure determination. He wanted to be a great warrior. He really wanted to be a great warrior. In fact, you might even say he had dollar bill signs going through his eyes about becoming a great warrior. He really wanted to get it, you know? And so this apprentice heard that there was a wise warrior teacher. In fact, one of the wisest warrior teachers, one of the most powerful warriors that had ever lived. And he was still alive. And the second the apprentice heard that, he needed to seek this wise warrior teacher out. He needed to seek him out. It was like instant. So because of his determination, because of his ambition, he searched long and hard, and he eventually found this wise warrior teacher. He found him. And he was living in a humble little hut in a fishing village. And when he went to this wise warrior teacher, he said, you must teach me. I need to become a warrior like you. I want to become a warrior like you. And the wise warrior teacher looked at this young apprentice man and said, he could easily see that this apprentice was focused on the outcome. This apprentice was letting those warrior dollar bill signs roll through his eyes, completely focused on the outcome. And he looked at him and he said, I will teach you, but under one condition. You've got to do everything I say, and if you don't, or if I catch you cheating or anything like that, I will disappear, and you will never even know that I was gone. And of course, the apprentice was enthralled. He said, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. He's all excited. He's like, he thinks he got what he wants. So the training begins. And for the first few months, everything that this wise warrior teacher was telling this apprentice to do, well, it didn't really match what he thought was going to make him a powerful warrior. It didn't really match it. So he's doing these odd things like sitting under a tree and thinking silly questions, or the old wise warrior would send him off into town and have him go help elderly people who needed a hand with their farm, or meditate, or any sort of this other crazy stuff. And one day the apprentice was so fed up, he was so ridiculously fed up that he went to the wise warrior and he said, I can't take this anymore. This isn't getting me any closer. It's not getting me any closer to what I really want. It's not getting me any closer to being a warrior. What's going on here? What's up with this training? The wise warrior looked at him and said, this is your training. If you don't like it, 
you can leave. He said, no, this isn't my training. This isn't helping me become a warrior. This isn't my training. He looked at him again and said, this is your training. If you don't like it, you can leave. And so because he didn't really have any better options, and he was frustrated, and he was still pretty darn curious about what was up with this powerful, wise old warrior master, he decided to stay. And over time, he began to relax a little bit more. Some of his resistance and stress and things like that started to fade away, and he just sort of went into what the wise warrior teacher was telling him to do. And then, wise warrior teacher started to share some tactical and technical knowledge about how to be a powerful warrior. And over time, he became one of the greatest warriors in the region, so much so that people began seeking him out. And so one day, the wise old warrior was walking through a villa somewhere, and he saw that his apprentice was training this new young student, this new same thing as he used to be, ambitious, hungry in his eyes. And the young student asked him a question. He said, what's the secret? I want to know your secret. And the wise warrior heard something in that moment that let him know that his apprentice was no longer his apprentice, that his apprentice had now officially himself become a powerful warrior. And what he heard was, when he was asked, what's your secret? The apprentice, the once apprentice said, the greatest gift is not that I got what I want. It was who I've become in the process. It was who I've become in the process. And the wise old warrior disappeared. And I want you to consider that you are here to become powerful warriors yourself. Powerful warriors yourself. And that the greatest gift of being a warrior is that itself. It's the fact that you are a warrior. It's not what you get. It's the way you live. The greatest gift in life is the way you live. Anything that we can think we want or we can get or is somewhere in the future, guess where that takes you? It takes you out of now. That's where it takes you. It takes you out of now. And as far as I can tell, all we have and all we are, where we are, is now. Would you agree? So, if we are being taken out of now, which is the only thing we've got, and it's all we have, then what is the quality of our life? if we're not actually living it. Because we live life now. And what makes life the most enjoyable, the most fun, the most powerful, the most rewarding, and what enables you to produce the most incredible results you could imagine is living life powerfully now. It's living life powerfully now. And we're going to make some distinctions this weekend about living life powerfully now. We're going to make some fun distinctions. And I quickly want to touch, when I say warrior, a lot of times I say warrior, and I'm not talking about the type of warrior that is fighting or in war, or anything like that. It's a different type of warrior, right? The type of warrior that I'm talking about is a man or a woman of knowledge. A man or a woman who has taken it upon themselves to understand knowledge, who wants to fully embrace life for everything it's worth, who wants to get the most that you can possibly get out of life, and who wants to have enough personal power, who wants to create enough personal power so that they can do anything, so that they can live this life in any way that they want to they want to live it. And that's the power of a warrior. A warrior gets to create how they want to be in life. A warrior creates how they want to be. For non-warriors, you are the way you are by default. Something happened 
Now I'm this way. I'm this way because of this. Whatever it is, it's something out there that is why you are the way you are. That's for non-warriors. For warriors, if you want to create I am power, then you create I am power, and that's what you are. And this weekend is going to be <laughs> a lot of fun. It's going to be an exercise in creating that. And before we move on to that, I have to admit that I am far from perfect. All you have to do is ask my friends and ex-girlfriends. They'll tell you right, right off the bat, I am far from perfect. And I can't promise you perfection this weekend. I can't do it. I can't promise you perfection. Can't promise you I'm going to be perfect. Anything. I can't even promise you the whole damn thing's going to work. Because I really don't know. <laughs> But I wasn't afraid to find out. <laughs> what I can promise you, what I can promise you is a thousand percent of my heart and soul. I can promise you a thousand percent of my heart and soul this weekend. I am here to serve you. I am here to mirror your greatness. I am here to stand for you, achieving anything you want in life, what's most important to you, and creating it powerfully, in fact, unstoppably. That's what I'm here for, to stand for you. This weekend is about you, a thousand percent. It is about you. I promise you, there is nothing special about me, nothing. If we're hanging out out of here, I'm the most normal person just as normal as anyone you will meet. I do stupid stuff all the time. I'm constantly wondering, <laughs> constantly wondering how I find myself in certain situations, <laughs> bumbling around often like a fool. This is not, a, there's, there's really nothing special about me. Nothing. What's special is the distinctions of this knowledge. What's special is the distinctions of this training. Because I'll tell you right now, I'm not the best marketer. Not the best marketer. I'm not, I don't know what I'm best at. In fact, I don't even know if best really exists. The best, this striving to be the best thing, does that seem a little crazy? I mean, is that an illusion or what? So you're going to say that you're, for the rest of eternity, no one ever is going to come along and do anything better than what you did or what? Like, so you know what they're going to be doing a hundred years? You're the best forever type thing. And we're always striving to be the best. I don't even know what that means. But all I know is I'm not it. Okay? But the reason why that there, you've been able to witness, and I've been able to witness, incredible results produced, incredible results, is because results have nothing to do with being the best. Results have everything to do with what you're going to learn here this weekend. Results have everything to do with the power that you're going to gain here this weekend. Are you excited about that? Super excited. So here's what I need from you. Love your furry hat. <laughs> it's a furry hat. <laughs> I need you to meet me where I'm meeting you. Can you do that for me this weekend? If I show up with a thousand percent of my heart and soul, a thousand percent, will you show up with a thousand percent of yours? Will you do it? Because I'll tell you right now, everything you get out of this weekend has nothing else to do with anything other than that. This is not a weekend where I sit up here and talk and blah, 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 and data comes into your head, and you go home and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's not what this is. This weekend is an experience. This weekend, you create what it's going to be. You create the results that you're going to get out of this weekend by how you show up. 
This is an experience. You are taking on, fully committing to it by bringing a thousand percent of your heart and soul to everything we're going to do, to the exercises, to the craziness that we've already established we're willing to do. By bringing a thousand percent of that this weekend, you, you transform yourself. I don't do it. Nobody else does it. You want power? It comes from one place. You. You transform yourself this weekend. This is all just a structure to allow you to do that. Is that clear? You follow me, right? Okay, beautiful. I'm glad you follow me. Now, we have a purpose that I'd love to see up on these screens. I wish I'd had some boom. (laughs) So, the unstoppable purpose. Why we are here, essentially. To live in the profound space of possibility that you were aware of as a child before social conditioning began. Free of your past, free of your stories, free of any constraining or limiting emotions, you can create from pure power with effectiveness, ease, and joy. Life becomes whatever you create it to be, and results flow unimpeded from the way that you are choosing to be. You understand that the way you are is a choice. You will have the tools and teachings to avoid your default future that's programmed by the unconscious, and instead, you get to program what you want your future to be. (laughs) I was going to ask if you're enrolled in that possibility, but I guess you beat me to it. One more quick thing before we move on to the next slide. But what it looks like, you giving me a thousand percent of your heart and soul this weekend, what that looks like is you getting out of your chair, off the hook crazy all the time. And apparently you're already ready. It means that you show up and you scream when I ask you to scream. It means that you let go of anything, any resistance you feel from getting up and fully expressing yourself, you let it go. You give yourself to this experience. It means you take it on a hundred million billion percent. That's what it means. That's what it means. That's when you're going to create that new way of being. Because we don't want to live from the old ways of being. The old ways of being is what produced the results we currently have. We don't want to live from that. If you want to create brand new results, then you change the way you're being. You create new ways of being, new ways of living, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing everything. Your old ways got you anything you already got. Kind of (laughs) obvious. So it's always hilarious to me when I see people dying to hold on to them. I don't want to let go of my old ways. (laughs) I might lose whatever crap I got. (laughs) It's hilarious, really. (laughs) Not this weekend. (laughs) Not this weekend.